guys so welcome to today's video um this video is a little bit different to the normal it is not a makeup look and it is not a skincare tutorial but it's sort of just touching bases on home skincare and how to look after your skin especially if you're using face or sheet masks and how to use them correctly so a lot of the time i get this questions about sheet masks and what are good sheet masks and how do you know whether they work for your skin or if they are actually working or not. So I wanted to show you guys my sheet mask collection. Um, it was my birthday recently and my husband was so kind to buy me a whole lot of sheet masks. I mean, he definitely knows the way to my heart. So excited because what better time to actually use sheet masks and just be at home and concentrate on your skin and look after your skin okay so without further ado let's get back into this video um what i'm going to be talking about is different types of skin masks um different skin concerns and how to use your face mask correctly. I have different types of masks here which i'm going to show you so different types of sheet masks um whether they are sheet masks or whether they are products um product masks if that makes sense. all my masks are in here first by talking to you guys about natural skincare and the products that i use from cashmere skincare so if you're familiar with my video that i did about skincare on my instagram tv then you'll know that i currently use cashmere skincare because they are natural products and they are beautiful um and this masks are a bit different so i have this mask here and this one here, which is the same formula because you have to mix them with water and then apply them on your face, leave them for a while. And it gets like really thick, like a mask. And then you have to peel it off and it's like instant. The mask it that I have from them that I haven't yet tried out is their sheet mask, which comes in a beautiful silver um, packaging. And then I have their eye masks here. Yeah. so I'm gonna be trying these soon but obviously on video so you guys can see how they work in comparison to the last mask I did which was the thick gel based mask and this is the my sheet. summer Fridays mask which is my favorite mask you can sleep with this mask which is really really nice um, and I haven't come across a lot of masks that you can sleep with so this is nice it gives you that instant lift me up your skin is super glowy and dewy it's really good for day. people who travel a lot and need that instant lift me up um, after you know long days or people who work long days it's really just good for quick favorite i've been using this ever since i just started or just before I even started makeup um is um, the skin republic masks you've probably seen me posting a lot on my instagram about the skin republic masks and um i love using them because there is masks that are for priming your face so you put it on before makeup there's masks for pimples there's masks for blackheads it's just a really really good variety from one brand and they're affordable which is great i think they're about 60 some odd rand which is not bad and going into that um discussing masks you need to use a specific mask if you're trying to fix a fa fix your face um, in certain ways. Say, for example, pimples or blemishes, fine lines. Once a week for three weeks or four weeks, the exact same mask to see a difference. And I think that's what people don't understand when it comes to masks if you are using it for specific skin concerns. You need to be consistent with it and you need to use it consistently and make sure you apply it correctly so that you are getting the most out of your sheet. Yeah. anti-aging masks. So these are a formula. So it's like a gel in here that you apply in the skin and then you peel off. And this one here is the 24K Gold Peel Off Mask. Um, these here allow for three applications so six applications total. four week regeneration period is most effective when used once or twice a week for the first month and then as required so obviously every mask is different every company is different so go ahead and read what it says before you buy it at the back so you know how consistent you need to On be with your to mask. the purified glow face mask i've never used this one before i have used this one here make sure you apply a nice even layer because when it's too thin it can like really like 
be hard to take off so just be careful with these peel off masks that you apply a nice thick layer so it's not ripping your skin when you're pulling it off this one here helps with removing blackheads which i'm currently really suffering okay, with. and then it gently exfoliates for soothe makeup application and i think that's the reasons why i like the skin republic mask so much because they always help with makeup application they have developed a makeup primer mask which you use before makeup as a primer if you don't have a primer and it's amazing because you put that on your face leave it five to ten minutes and then take it off and you can go in with your uh makeup and it's so so dabble too much uh babble dabble i'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk too much about but it. But I'm just gonna tell you what I got because these are just ones. So I'll have to see if it really works for me or it does something for me the first time and then obviously go and buy a few more. So this one here is, I'm gonna start from the back. This is a brightening vitamin C. This is a this sheet is hyaluronic hot. acid. If you guys watched my video again on skincare, you guys know that I love hyaluronic acid, especially for marks and pigmentation and all of that. It really, really helps. Also really helps for um, hydrate. And then anti-aging masks. I don't know my husband's giving me signs with the amount of anti-aging pro <laughs> products he's bought me but i hear you friend I hear you. on in order to store your masks correctly i i mean i did store some of them like this because it couldn't fit in the box but the best way to store your masks I've seen is a lot flat. of videos where they store their masks long words i wouldn't suggest it because all the product floats down to the bottom and then we, we don't think about it when we're pulling out a mask we just rip it open and use it and then half the mask doesn't have as much product um in compared to the side here so make sure you store them flat just so that you know it's an even layer of product on your mask before you um Put it another on thing on masks if you guys have the mask you realize that there's a lot of excess serums in the mask or product in the mask that is just lying at the bottom do not throw this away what you could do is take off your mask put it on your face and whatever's excess in the package just close the package really tightly and use it two to three days after you've applied the mask as a serum before makeup application or not even makeup application, just a serum with your uh, skincare routine, or even if you want to just plump on the serum before bed after washing your face, that would also work and really, really help with um, settling into your skin and working over a few days. Um, I like doing that and don't throw it away. It's just wasting a lot of product. It can give you at least two to three days worth of product. Okay. Apply your face mask. Please make sure that you do not leave any pieces hanging out. So I know a lot of face masks are really big for our skin or our faces um what i would like to do is to make sure every bit of the mask is touching every bit of the skin um so even if it means pulling your hair all the way back and making it just touch just the hairline even just so it can get to the skin here that's even fine and when it comes to the bottom i know it just tends to hang make sure you push it down the chin here just so that this part also is taken care of. Remember, the same way we break out on our face, we can break out on our necks. Therefore, you need to take care of your neck as well. And also, if you're using masks that helps with firming, etc., take a little bit of that serum in it, rub it down your neck just so that it firms this area and you don't have too many fine lines and wrinkles when you age on your neck area as well. So I have quite a few masks from Clicks. I've never used their masks before, um, but I'm excited to try it out right now with these nose pore strips. These just help with removing blackheads and all of that. But make sure before, again, before you do any mask, please make sure that you wash your skin, cleanse your skin. There's no makeup on your skin. You double cleanse, triple cleanse, however many cleansing like times you need to do it or cleanse times you need to go through make sure you do it just so that when you put your mask on you are not now pushing the makeup in to your pores because then again you are going to get a breakout okay so we don't want that um these are really nice to help with um removing the gunk around the nose uh basically thoroughly wash your face and then apply it afterwards and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Tea tree barley and some Indian lotus. So, I mean, there's different ones. They all have different ingredients. they made differently. So, again, see what works for you. That's the thing about sheet masks and off-the-counter masks. You don't know if it will work for you or it won't work for you. So, just play around and see Love what works. So, I'm guessing it applies exactly like these. Um, and it is for purifying and detoxifying. So, that's really nice. 
These ones here don't really say that you need to do it once a week. So maybe they work instantly. I have no idea because I've never used them before. But again, always make sure you read the information at the back of your mask just to make sure your mask, to... which is a face scrub. So I don't know how that works. I think it's like an exfoliant and a mask that you use together. Okay, again, now remember with all of these masks, you can literally get two usages out of it because if you see here, there's so much a product here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's so much a product here and there's so much a product here. So if you store them correctly, you make sure they are completely tightly um, closed when you use them. It's really gonna help you keep the next batch for the next week so you can use it over two weeks just to get the most out of it. I mean, it is cheap, but if you're getting two out of it, why? Exfoliating apricot scrub mask. And this exfoliates and rejuvenates the skin. Then we have the revitalizing chocolate mud face mask. So this deep cleans and moisturizes the skin. So again, I probably will get two usages out of all of these masks if I store them correctly and I use them correctly. Um, and then 100%, so these aren't face sheet masks. These are all product and you have to apply leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. Of the sorbet masks, not too many. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my post a few days ago on Instagram about the foot mask. I will put a picture of it down here. And this is a foot mask that I used two weeks ago. And oh my God, guys, it works so well, but it's so nasty because your feet peels for like two weeks and it looks like old people feet, but it's amazing. Like you have to scrub and get it all off the dead skin, but it's amazing and it works wonders. Um, I have the hand hydrating mask. I don't know if it works like that because I would die if my hand was peeling. But um, I think this just helps with moisturizing the hands and softening the hands. So I don't think there's a peel, but that was a foot peel mask. Um, and then this one here is a charcoal face mask and this helps with impurifying and detoxifying. So you know what? All masks that helps with impurifying and detoxifying really work well with me because I feel like I get very blocked up on my chin with white heads, on my nose with black heads, and black heads just here in between my brows. Is as well. the Korean beauty mask. So I love Korean products because you guys know that I use a lot of Korean skincare. If you watch my skincare video again on Instagram TV, I use a lot of Korean beauty products and I'm obsessed with their skin. It's just so silky and smooth and soft. So I guess using their products really work. Um, these here are the Saf, well, these are the Vita masks. I think you get these at clicks if I'm not mistaken. Um, if not, I'm sure if you just Google them, you'll be able to find where they stock it. This is the Sapphire Sheet Mask. So this helps with um, relaxing the mind and hydrating skin. Um, so I guess they are like aromatherapy and skin therapy, color therapy, and it says germstone gemstone therapy um, and I don't know how it helps with mental health and skin health but that's really interesting I should try these out um, it combines skincare with gemstone therapy aromatherapy and color therapy to achieve multi-sensory results so I'm guessing when you apply this on it gives you some sort of boring skin and this one is for soothing I hope this mask video was somehow um, helpful. It was just discussing different face masks, how to use face masks, and how to make and get the best usage out of your face mask. Um, the reason I also wanted to do this video was because, I mean, if you're going to a pharmacy and you're grabbing a few like medications that you need, you can stop by on the skin aisle and grab a few masks because they're allowing and they're still selling masks. So I'm not saying go out and buy it, stay at home guys. But if you do happen to be in the pharmacies grabbing a few things, grab a few masks, try to keep it minimum, maybe choose one mask and buy three of those and use it accordingly to what's going on with your skin now and maybe it can be helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, please make sure you check out the other videos on my channel as well. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys.